Hey, it's Lev Prince 47 and the next step to building your extreme gaming PC has arrived. Now, what you have to do next is connect all your data cables. So that, that includes the ESATA, ESATA, ESATA. <laughs> it includes the ESATA cables and, yeah, and your front panel connectors. So if you have one of these Q-tips, I advise you to, you, you get one with your motherboard, hopefully. I advise you to put, put, connect that and then connect all your front panel headers onto that because it tells you where to put everything. Yeah. Uh, connect all your USB, connect all your firewire and stuff like that. And yeah, just connect all, all your data cables and if you need help with that, go to your installation guide. It should tell you where everything goes. So USB 3.0 goes there. USB 2.0, USB 2.0 and some other variety of things so what I do know well, what I do know the cable that I do know where its place is is the ESATA cable so you plug that into your hard drive and your SSD alright and make sure it's the 6 gigabit per second one even if you don't, you don't know your even if you don't know if your uh, product is 6 gigabit or 3 gigabit it's backward compatible so you should be fine so just make sure you put the 6 gigabit one in and you should be good to go and then here here is your drive so plug it in your drive as well you need one in your drive so I put the other two in before and I'm gonna show you how to put this one in you just clip it in it's pretty simple yeah it's pretty simple it's hard to do on camera but trust me it's pretty simple in real life so yeah here you go you just push it in you'll be able to know where it goes because there's two there's two uh, slots there's one for the power and one for the data so they're both different sizes so you should know where they go and then you just connect it to the motherboard and refer to your motherboard guide which is what I'm probably going to do <laughs> but yeah your insider goes there so you just connect it in there make sure you connect the right angle one to your your drives and the straight angle to your motherboard yeah that's pretty much it uh, Stay tuned for the next step, which is connecting all your power stuff, which I should be showing you. All right, people, take care. Oh, wait, wait. I'll give you a rundown of what you have to. I'll give you. I'll give you a rundown of what's uh, the front panel connectors, which came with my case. So here is. I don't even know what this is. I think this is USB 2.0. Wait. Here's USB 3.0, guaranteed I know what USB 3.0 looks like. There's two of them. Uh, here's your HD audio and what's this? AC97, something like that. See, this is why you have to refer to your, your motherboard guide. So we have hard drive LED, hard drive LED. We have uh, reset switch we have power LED which is plus and minus should tell you on the q-tip if you do get it with your motherboard and there's one more which is your power switch wait I think there's there should be more All right. okay what's this oh here's your, your ESATA for the front yeah that's your ESATA for the front and where's the firewire? Don't even know how that looks. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, people. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hold on one sec, I'm still double checking. Okay, what's this? Alright, here's your USB. USB 2.0s. And here is your firewire. That's your firewire. That one's your firewire. I thought it was USB, but yeah. So just make sure you go to your motherboard guide, connect all them in, and I'll be back in a short sec to tell you what to do next.